guys, this is Dave Mosher, producer for Discovery Space at space.discovery.com. The Discovery Channel's official website all about space, and this is your weekly wrap-up and preview for the site. Jumping right into things here for you. You guys remember the Mars Phoenix lander? Of course you do. Here's a picture of it. This is a really cool spacecraft that landed on Mars in May. It's been digging in the dirt since then. In fact, until April, which is when we last heard from it, it got too cold um, and too low light for the spacecraft to survive. And in fact, you'd think it'd be buried under, you know, I don't know, a few feet of ice by now because it's at the northern reaches of Mars where that giant, that giant uh, polar ice cap is. Well, it's not buried yet, as we can see. This is a Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter image. There's a spacecraft down there. All this blue is sort of frost covering the landscape. That's the heat shield it dropped when it landed and also the parachute. Um, that's a really amazing image. This is a spacecraft taking a picture of another spacecraft on another planet. So, sort of rattle that around in your brain for a little bit. And that's really cool. It should be buried under ice in a few months here as the uh, Martian winter arrives. Uh, now for some somber news. You guys probably know what this image is. This is the Columbia Space Shuttle breaking apart over Texas. <clears throat> NASA released its final accident report about that disaster. And uh, this is a 400 page report about precisely what killed the astronauts, whether they had any knowledge of what was going on at the time. It's a pretty sombering report. I have my impressions of it in a blog post. Um, if you're on the Space Disco blog, a link to that post is down there. If you're on YouTube, look to your right, click the More Info button, that should take you to the blog. But it's, uh, it's a really interesting report, you know, despite the, the somber nature of it. Essentially what happened is the cabin pressure went down so quickly, quickly that it either killed the astronauts or knocked them unconscious. They weren't able to restrain themselves while the spacecraft shook and that motion against their body against the seat harnesses essentially killed them, if nothing else did. So, a very interesting report. Despite a summer nature, that's going to help make better, safer spacecraft in the future. So that's the upside to that sad story. Uh, now for some really good news. The International Year of Astronomy is here. This is the official logo, you know, kind of adult and a kid there looking up at the sky. Uh, if you don't know about this, go to my blog again. There's another blog post down there about the International Year of Astronomy. Even if you know nothing about astronomy, space, maybe you're just watching this because you like dirty jobs or Mythbusters or something. I have no idea. Go to, the, go to this blog post and look at all the cool stuff you can do. Um, for example, you're, you're going to have an opportunity to possibly get one of these for $10. This is a replica of a Galileo telescope. 400 years of astronomy, hence the International Year of Astronomy. Uh, these guys have built together uh, a really cheap, inexpensive model. They want to get a million of these out to kids so they can look up at the sky and see what Galileo saw. In fact, a little bit better. These things are an improved version of Galileo's telescope. One of the many things you can do, and in fact, there's another thing called the 365 Days of Astronomy podcast. You guys can participate in that podcast if you want. All you got to do is sign up for a day. I've signed up for three, March 3rd, April 3rd, and May 3rd. I'm going to be talking about a variety of different topics, and you can check that out. And the last thing I want to tell you guys about is ice on the moon. Um, okay, where do you think you would find ice on the moon? Nowhere, right? Because it's just all dust and, and craters and stuff. Well, check this out. See these permanently shadowed craters? Sunlight never hits those, and uh, some scientists think that ice is buried under there. Well, previous spacecraft observations have shown that there probably isn't any ice, but uh, scientists, being resilient as they are, went back and looked at old data and now they think there is ice down there. So that's a pretty cool development and something to look out for because there are a lot of spacecraft yet to be sent to the moon, uh, including NASA. So it's a pretty exciting time and water on the moon, of course, is cool because that can be used to support human life, uh, make rocket fuel, all kinds of great stuff. So look out for that. Now for your preview. Um, I've got that IM interview I told you guys about, about Enceladus versus Europa. That's coming up to you. I have a puzzle, gorgeous galaxies, so I can uh, break those apart, put them back together again. And finally, that top 10 worst ways to die in space, I'm finally going to deliver this week. I promise. I know I haven't been good on my track record, so you guys can look forward to that. And at the end of the week, as usual, from the Lowell Observatory Space Photo Quiz. So thanks for tuning in and looking forward to seeing you on the site. <laughs>